Well, hi there! Say, what does a kitchen plunger, a potato, and your old socks have in common? Well, other than I described all the stuff on my bathroom counter, don't ask, they can all work magic for your vehicle if you know how to use them. And cleaning your trunk can help you save gas. Okay, no more spoilers, let's get down to it. Protect yourself from polluted air when stuck in traffic. The recirculation button isn't the most popular one, but can actually be super useful when you're stuck in traffic amidst exhaust gas. It recirculates the air inside your car, shutting off the airflow from the outside. In summertime, you can also do it to keep the inside air cool and refreshing. Clean your trunk to save some gas. The heavier your vehicle is, the more gas it uses. The engine has to burn through more of it to keep the car moving. So, if you keep two picnic chairs, your dumbbells, your golf clubs, and a bag of clothes you wanted to donate months ago in your trunk, it's really high time you gave it a good cleanup. Use dishwashing liquid to remove grease off of windows. Dishwashing liquid can be a good and cheap way to clean your car windows and windshield. It'll help you get rid of anything, from fingerprints to dog slobber. Just grab a damp and wet washcloth, use a drop of dishwashing liquid, and start cleaning. Protect yourself from glaring sun. The sun can be not just annoying, but downright dangerous for drivers. Luckily, airplane pilots invented a way to deal with it years ago. Just get yourself a movable shade and stick it where you need it most at this or that time of the day. Get rid of pet hair with static electricity. If your pet often travels with you and leaves its hair as souvenirs all over your car, you know how hard it can be to get rid of it. Just put on a latex glove and rub your hand against the seats and carpets. Thanks to static electricity, the hair will stick to your glove. You can then remove it with vacuum cleaner or just keep going with your gloved hand. Put socks on your windshield wipers. In the winter months, your wiper blades often freeze to your windshield overnight. You can stop this and protect them from mild frost, snow, ice, and rain. Just put your old socks on the wipers as you leave your car in the evening. The next morning, you'll thank them for the extra time you won yourself. Just never mind that your car will smell like your feet. Use your car mat to get out of a snow trap. If you're stuck and just can't dig yourself out with a shovel, try using your car mats, sand, salt, kitty litter, or cardboard. Shove any of it under your tires to increase traction and help them get a firmer grip. This way, you'll be able to drive out of snow in no time. Just remember to say goodbye to your car mat in the rearview mirror. Release some air from your tires to get unstuck from the snow. In case the car mat doesn't help, <laughs> try deflating the tires a bit. This will help increase the surface area of the tires and again, get them more traction. Remember, you can only make them looking slightly flat, and as soon as you get out of the snow, you must pump them back up. Pin your car on your GPS app to remember where you parked. Parking lots are often the size of my hometown, so finding a car in there can be a real challenge. A sure way to do it is make your phone remember where it is instead of your brain. All you have to do is pin the location on the map and let the GPS app guide you back to the vehicle. Use a damp newspaper to remove bumper sticker marks. Wet a newspaper with warm water, apply it to the damp area, and let it stick to the car. Then leave it on for about 10 minutes so the water gets in contact with the glue on the sticker or sticker mark. After that, it'll be easy to scrape it off with your credit card. Now, speaking of bumper stickers, do you have any on your car? If so, what does it say? Let me know in the comments below. How to get out of mud or sand Now, if your car ever got stuck in mud or sand on a rainy day ride through the woods, you know how scary it gets. The good news is, you can get out using a shovel and some patience. Try to clear as much mud and sand you can from around the wheels using a shovel or even your own hands. If your car still won't move, try switching from reverse to drive to start gaining momentum and deflate your tires to increase their surface area. Use a potato to not let your car windows fog. When your windows fog from the inside, it makes driving pretty dangerous. Luckily, the humble potato can come to your rescue. Take a clean and raw one, cut it in half, and rub one half on the windows from the inside. It will clean them and also create a protective layer to prevent fogging. Then let the potato coating dry without touching it. This trick will also work on your shower door and bathroom mirror. Use a kitchen plunger for dents. 
plungers are actually pretty useful outside of kitchens and bathrooms. For example, you can use a cup plunger to fix small and medium-sized dents in your car. Wet both the dent and the plunger, and use it as if you were unclogging a drain. Push and pull until it comes out. Remove rust with coke. One thing that makes coke an excellent and cheap way to remove tarnish and rust from metals and alloys is that it's carbonated and rich in phosphoric acid. So that's two things. Just spray the rusty surface with coke, and then use a brush or a toothbrush if the area is small to break it up. Apply and scrub as necessary. Don't forget to clean the scrubbed area with water after you're done. Use cooking spray to avoid freezing. To save yourself some time and nerve on a winter morning, protect your car doors from getting frozen overnight. This happens because of snow that gets into the seals, turns into water, and then freezes again in there. To stop that vicious cycle, put cooking spray on all the inside rubber parts, and then wipe off the extra with a paper towel. Keep your car's remote control separate from your keys. This is more of a common sense than anything, as most modern car alarms have a built-in system to prevent car theft, effectively locking everything in your car if you use it. But it's handy to keep it separate from your car keys in case you get mugged, thrown out of your car, or for whatever reason, you left the keys inside the car. Don't start the car right away in the winter. Car batteries don't really enjoy extreme cold temperatures. In fact, when the frost is extreme, it can be really harmful to your car battery if you don't warm it up first. Just turn your headlights on for a little bit, and then turn on the car engine. You can also warm it up with the radio and listen to some music to make the waiting more enjoyable. Use the arrow by the fuel icon on the dashboard wisely. You arrive at a gas station to refuel and spend 10 minutes looking for your gas tank, only to find out it's on the other side of the vehicle. Sounds familiar? Fortunately, you don't have to play the guessing game anymore. There's a little bitty arrow by the fuel icon on your dashboard that tells you which side the tank is on. That little one has saved my bacon numerous times. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!